Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing the DS Liu Bai Remote Control Channel Forward and Reverse and Stroke Quantity Functions. First, let's explain the front and back channel settings. Channel Reverse refers to the remote control setting channel E and channel R. Let's talk about how to set up this feature. Firstly, turn off a remote control and then hold down channel C without letting go. Turn on the remote control power at the same time. At this time, the remote control panel will flash and accompanied by a prompt sound. At this point, if I need to set channel E to reverse, I just need to gently tap channel E to successfully set it up. You can see that the panel no longer flashes after the settings are completed. Note that this function can only set one channel at a time. If you need to set channel R, you need to reset it. Let's test if a setup was successful. First, turn off a remote control. Hold down channel C, and then turn on the remote control. Set channel E, which has been successfully set at this point. First, let's take a look at channel E. Move it to the right. Steering gear to the left, to the left. Steering gear to the right. Channel R up and down. It's correct. Then we will set up a forward and reverse channels. Now let's verify it again. Right, left, right, left. You can see that the direction of a circle is the same as the one I'm turning. It's completely different from a state I set before. Before, I turned right and the circle turned left. Now I'm going to the right and the circle is also going to the right. This indicates that the positive and negative channels have been successfully set. Next, let's talk about the channel travel volume function. The travel amount of each channel on the DS Liu Bai remote control can be adjusted separately. First, let's take a look at how to adjust and set the channel travel. We will turn off a remote control. Hold down channel 5 without letting go. Simultaneously turn on the power of a remote control. The values on the LCD screen are flashing, indicates entering a setting state. At this point, you can press the corresponding button. The stroke amount of the corresponding channel can be adjusted. During the adjustment process, the servo stroke can also be observed in real time. There will be a prompt sound during adjustment. What I am adjusting here is channel E. Press up to reduce travel volume. A notable prompt indicates that the minimum value has been reached. Pressing the fine-tuning button at this time increases the stroke amount. After the adjustment of travel volume is completed, then press the channel 5 button to exit the setting state. Note that the factory default travel limit is maximum. There are a total of shaders from maximum stroke to minimum stroke which can be cyclically adjusted. Now let's take a look at the reaction of channel E after adjusting the stroke volume. This means that we have successfully set it up. 